Let me just be perfectly honest to all of you. I love Azamanga Dayo. Azamanga Dayo is probably one of the few series that I can just relate to. And honestly, this series itself is just life. It's a slice of life. It's a really good slice of life. And has a lot of lessons that I didn't really listen to. <laughs> but Azamanga Dayo, I read the manga, which is what I have. The Omnion of... I can't even say this word properly. Omnibus? I think that's how you say it? Correct me if I'm wrong. The omnibus version of Azamanga da Dayo. This version of Azamanga Dayo, which is just all the volumes, it's in this book. And I read a lot of it. I didn't finish it yet, but good god, it's so much fun to read. And I also watched the anime. I'm still watching the anime right now, but I've grown to love the characters. I love the characters in Azamanga Dayo. Except for one person that I absolutely dread in that series. Good god, I do not like him. But it doesn't matter because Azamanga Dayo is amazing. It's really amazing. Like there's characters like Sakaki, which I love Sakaki. I love Chio. I love Tomo, Yomi. And most importantly, there's one character that made Azamanga Dayo popular nowadays. And that is Osaka slash Ayumu Kazuga. Osaka is a person that I can just relate to a lot. And when I see a lot of the scenes from Azamanga Dayo that relate to Osaka, it just feels so much... She's just like me! <laughs> There's also a lot of characters that I like in Azamanga Dayo, like Yukari Sensei. And most importantly, the one person that I love in Azamanga Dayo is Niyama Kurosawa. <sighs> Man, I would love to have a girlfriend like her. I would love to have a PE teacher slash girlfriend like her. Really, I really do. Just kidding, I'd rather stay single for now. <laughs> so yeah, Azamanga Dayo. I recommend you guys watch it if you haven't watched it or if you guys want to see the clips on YouTube, you can look up Azamanga Dayo. If you have a way to find the book itself, the manga itself, I recommend you get it because this is 25 bucks to pay for. <laughs> this is 25 bucks of glory. This is 25 bucks of one of the few best slice of lives that I can find. There's also Yotsuba, which is also made by the same creator as Azamanga Dayo, but if you're looking for high school girls, and if you want to lose some brain cells also, then watch and read Azamanga Dayo. But what's more important... That was weird. But what's more important today is Azamanga Dayo merchandise, which when you go on the internet, there is a lot of merchandise for Azamanga Dayo. And there's probably like keychains, postcards, uh, there's probably a lot of stuff that you saw that was made when Azamanga Dayo was really popular in the two early 2000s. But now, we have to talk about the Azamanga Dayo figures. Which, there's figures of Azamanga Dayo. There's Sakaki, which I really want that Sakaki figure. I really need it, but uh, you're gonna have to spend uh, like an arm and a leg to do it. You also have Kagura, which is made by the same company as the one who made Sakaki. You also have to spend an arm and a leg for that. However, there's one person that they also made that I actually have today. And that is... Osaka! They made an Osaka figure. And I didn't have to spend too much on it. I have to spend at least about 135 for this. It's uh, made by the same company, Kotobukiya, which is one of the most luxury figure making companies out there in Japan, which you always have to spend so much to pay for in America to get Kotobukiya figures, but... And you might be saying, are you gonna unbox it? You're gonna probably waste about $135 on a sealed figure, which it's for content, all right? It's for content. It's for content, all right? I have to unbox it. I got it because I really want to unbox it for all of you guys. And um, yeah, uh, honestly, I'm ready to unbox it. Let's... Actually, I never thought that they would actually make an Osaka swimsuit figure. Like, that's not what I thought about. Like, I would ex expect like another figure like this, like this, that they would make. But it's whatever because we got Osaka. We got Osaka as a figure. This was the Legend Girls Four Leaves series. I have to unbox it. I really have to. <laughs> so, so let's get started, shall we? Let's unbox it. Here's the figure. Um, this is the Kotobukiya Legend Girls Four Leaves Osaka swimsuit version. Um, let's unbox it, shall we? Uh, I can't wait to unbox it. And yeah. So let's get the scissors. This is sealed, all right? This is sealed. This is a sealed product. And if you go on like, um, like any site on eBay or anything else, if you go on eBay, you're gonna have to spend like $300 on a sealed one. And oh my God, I'm actually breaking the seal for this. Okay, let's do it. I'm doing it for content, all right? 
Uh, this is gonna hurt a lot, but yeah. Um, God damn it. This is not a good idea. I probably want to save the box. Hold on. Let me get a. Let me get a box. Let me get a box cutter. A few moments later. Let's unbox it, shall we? Um. All right. Let's unbox it, shall we? Oh God, this is scary. All right, just just be careful. We're not gonna destroy the box. Just, we're gonna handle it carefully, all right? We're gonna handle it carefully. I'm making sure my hands are clean. All right, let's open it. Damn, this is in really perfectly good condition, actually. Let's do this, let's do this. Be very careful about it. here also never mind okay oh god why did i do that why did i do that oh you're gonna have to remove her legs that's great that's great <laughs> all right oh crap you're gonna have to remove the legs that's great you're gonna have to remove the legs how do i do it how do i do it how do i do it uh. all right there we go Good God, that took long. <laughs> so, this is the figure itself, the final product. Gotta say, it looks beautiful. It looks extremely beautiful. Please focus. Now, I want to say that this figure itself took a little bit of time to make. I had to remove the legs for the figure itself in order to um, put the pool flo floaty, which is supposed to be in this, uh, in this figure. And then you have the stand that comes with it. Um, gotta say, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I really do love the detail in this figure. The detail is really, really good. Um, the details on the hair, the details on the pool floaty, the paint, everything looks perfect. And yeah, what would I rate, rank this? Um, I would rank it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 figure. This is a 10 out of 10 figure that I love. I love this figure, everything about it. It's really detailed, really, really sculpted really well. I love it. It really looks beautiful. So that's essentially it for this video. This is the Osaka figure from Kotobukiya. Honestly, it's one of my few favorite figures that I have. Um, Kotobukiya makes a lot of good figures. I mean, they made the Kokoro figure, which this is the figure I have. Uh, this is one of my number one favorite figures ever. Uh, this is one of my figures that I love the most. Uh, I got it from Christmas. So yeah, but the figure itself, the Osaka figure is really good. Um, I actually wanted this figure in the first place because when I went to the anime shop and they had this figure I was like I had to get it because you know, I need to achieve something after high school, right? I like I'm already already done with a lot of the stuff that I have and everything I have in high school So, you know, I'm graduating this year and I'm finally going to college But this is going to be a symbol of my high school life and how not that great it was, but I remember that I always watch Azamanga Daio when I was feeling down and you know when I go to like class and, and watching Azamanga Daio during class and losing brain cells and just laughing and having so much fun watching it and reading the manga also. I read the manga also when I was like, when I finished my assignments, I remembered watching Azamanga Daio and reading the manga itself. But yeah, this is going to be a symbol of Azamanga Daio in my life. Um, it helped me a lot. It was so much fun to watch and help me get through the darkest days of my time. Um, so that's essentially it. If this video gets 20 to 30 likes though, I'll be showcasing all the figures I have. So if this video gets 20 to 30 likes, I'll be showing off the figures I have. And I'll try to show off some of the ones that I, even though YouTube might not like, I'll try to show it off as much as I can, but just bleep up all the things that YouTube just does not like. But anyways, that's essentially it for this video. Um, that's essentially it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did, please leave a like. And if you don't like the video, leave a dislike. Stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you later.